I believe it's one of my most honorable moments that I would have lived in my life. Looking back at his time in the Navy, Andrew Ellis says he developed a love for serving his country, which developed over 21 years of service, much of which was spent as a Navy recruiter. Shortly after immigrating to the United States from Jamaica, Andrew joined the Navy. Well, the biggest transition for me during that period uh, was I was brand new in America. I came to America and straight away after getting to America, I was in the Navy. After completing boot camp, Andrew would work in aviations and then in engineering aboard the USS Nashville. He says his first supervisor became a great mentor who was also from Jamaica. There was a little bit of, a little bit of communication problems. I had a strong accent and uh, he was one of them who kind of who kind of mentored me through some of those challenges that I had. After five years of service, Andrew transitioned into Navy recruiting. While working at the Military Entrance Processing Station in Massachusetts, the events of 9-11 led Andrew to commit to a career in the Navy. During that time, it was, it was a, a stark realization for me growing through this attack. I made the decision I was going to, I was going to do, make a, a career off the United States Navy. With a renewed dedication to the Navy, Andrew would find a passion in recruiting. You develop a unique skill empathizing with the uh, varying uh, personalities and backgrounds that you deal with. For Andrew, he focused on two things, the needs of the Navy and the needs of the recruit. You should treat uh, everyone that you recruit as if they are going to be your next commanding officer. The tendency is you're going to treat that person with dignity, you're going to treat that person with respect. As a recruiter, Andrew felt a special connection to each recruit he worked with. Each recruit was about to go through a major life change, and because of this, Andrew felt a great need to be open and honest with them. Yes, you will get seasick. Yes, you will get, you will deploy. And there's a chance you will be participating in a war. But the truth is, you know, I've deployed, I've uh, gotten seasick, I have been to war, and I am still here. When it came time to retire, Andrew himself was recruited to work for the West Texas VA healthcare system, which he says is a way to continue to serve. I still felt I needed to serve. It was what motivated me to continue to serve with the VA. As a personnel security specialist, Andrew plays a role in vetting employees and ensuring that they are prepared to serve the veterans in West Texas. We want to ensure that we got the highest quality people with the right temperance to serve these veterans. Mm -hmm.